Okay, what we're about to do is install the Clydesdale tie rod and drag link on this 1977 Ford F-150. And uh, we're going to give you the pointers, show you how that works. So first thing we're going to do is take the steering stabilizer off. It's attached to the drag link and then attached over to the frame. Uh, next thing we're going to do is remove this stock pitman arm here. Uh, you notice on this 77, and this is just like a 76 and 77, they both have a tie rod end built into the pitman arm itself instead of the drag link. Um, that creates an issue where the pitman arm itself does need to be changed at the same time as doing a tie rod and drag link conversion like we're doing today. So let's get those things off and we'll go I've from there. I've removed the steering stabilizer. Now I'm going to remove the nut from the drag link connection at the pitman arm. Next, we'll take this trusty thing here we call a pickle fork. So we're not worried about saving the boot or anything else here. And we're just going to break this, this loose. Okay, James is going to take the nut. Oh. There's the nut off of the sector shaft. And then we'll use the... We like using a snap-on pitman arm puller. It's the only one we've really found that even comes close to fitting on some of the Ford pitman arms. And uh, matter of fact, this one, just because of the angle of everything, we found we've got some uh, interference here getting it on with the track bar bolt. So we're going to have to remove that. And I can see it's held in there with a the grade C lock nut. So we'll get a new lock nut for when we put that back on. Okay, here you can see James working on the track bar bolt. We're going to kind of get that out of our way. We'll try not to take it. Hopefully we don't have to take it completely out. We'll know in a minute here. Well, let's try it again. There it goes. So now we're going to, as long as we're right here, we're going to put the new pitman arm back on. Uh, basically, we're using a stock pitman arm from a 78, 79 Bronco or F-150. And for the 76, 77 Clydesdale installation, you will need to locate one of those. Uh, we're going to attempt to have some on hand here when people order those systems. Uh, not sure how scarce they are, so James is going to tighten that down right now. While James is grabbing a new grade C lock nut, I'm going to go ahead and take off the passenger side uh, drag link tie rod end. Again, with the pickle fork, because we're not worried about Saving boots. And that came right off. Okay, <clears throat> James has grabbed a new grade C lock nut and he's going to put that back on that upper track bar bolt there. All right, so me and James have the tie rod section. We're going to get that position. He's going to do his side first and get it started. Then we're going to flex the tire out. I'm going to put mine in.
see the basic, the tie rod section of the Clydesdale. We're going to tighten all that down and install the drag link next. So we're going to tighten down the, the jam nut. And, you know, keep in mind, after an install like this, you are going to want to go to an alignment shop and have it checked and dialed in as far as your toe in, toe out. Uh, most of the time with these old Fords, F-150s, Broncos, you can do this stuff yourself without all the equipment and uh, you just want to check the spec for toe in and toe out and typically line it up the way you're taking the old one off unless there was a problem with the old one to begin with. So there we've got those tightened down. Okay, now we're going to install the drag link. We'll put the lower end on the tie rod first. upper end. Looks like we got extremely good angles of the track bar compared to the drag link. James is going to get that done. He'll get the cotter pin in. Uh, and this, this one will put the grease cirques into the ends. And, but essentially, you can see an installed Clydesdale tie rod and drag link on this 77 F154 by 4 So uh, we're going to clean it up, tighten it up, grease it up, and uh, get it out on the road, go for a spin, and anticipate everything will work wonderful. And again, that's your uh, install of the Clydesdale Extreme Duty Tie Rod and Drag Link System on the 77 Ford F-150. Thanks for watching.